a lot of people their first reaction is why you know why 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 would you drive that much in this car no it's not a matter of why it's it's like why not hello my name's jordan leg i uh, i'm a dj and i drive a modified volkswagen beetle what makes you journey into the night and take flight on a pursuit of musical bliss chasing beats through ghetto streets to a dungeonous temple left by our soul descendants in a quest for peace energy and light if you were to find this temple, do you have the knowledge to enter the temple? Do you want it? And if you had it, would you flaunt it? Well, it's yours. I was 17 when I, when I got the Beatle. I found Sketchy in, in, in Oxford. I went all the way up to Oxford to, to get it. Um, kind of like looked at a few pictures. It was 3,500 pounds. How to, how to drive, drove like shit, but uh, we bought it anyways. <laughs> no, I didn't even have like a driver's license yet. I, had a, I was still on my learner's license. So and there's, a, there's a good picture actually of, a, of the learner plate and me driving the, the, the Beetle. And I, and I worked all summer on the car um, to, to kind of get it into proper tip top shape before I even had my license. For three years now, I'm now I'm 20. I, I've, I've daily driven this this Volkswagen Beetle, and you know if it breaks, I fix it. And you know it's all my gigs. I go, you know, I travel. I, I do 120 miles in a week. Uh, the first year I got, it, I put 10,000 miles on it. So you know it doesn't sit in a garage. It, it, I, I drive. I drive the absolute balls off this car. Pioneer decks go right on the back seat. Rucksack goes in the passenger seat. You know, loads of wires, anything I can fit in the damn thing. And I, I, you know, a lot of people, their first reaction is why? You know, why, why, why would you drive that much in this car? Why, why would you, you know, it, it, it's, not, it's not a matter of why, it's, it's like, why not? Main reason is because my, my father had one in the 60s. He bought, I think it was a, either a late 50s or, or an early 60s uh, Volkswagen 1200. Um, he worked on it, he blew the engine up, he put another engine in, you know, really cool story and, and, and that's really what made me want to get one as well as, you know, some other reasons such as I want something a bit different, I want to learn how to work on cars, um, I, yeah, so it's just a, yeah, it's just really cool, cool and different car to, 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 to own and, and, and love and, and, and my dad, of course, so that's the inspiration really, yeah. It's obviously not stock. Uh, did you modify it sort of as a means of repairing it, or were your plans to always modify it? So my, my plans were always to make it something that, you know, I, I wanted. I, it was almost like a piece of me on the road, that kind of thing. You know, with a lot of the stuff I do in music, in in tech, and you know, in, in cars. You know, it's how I project myself into something, and, and that's what I wanted to do with the car. And it wasn't really to make it a show car, it wasn't to make it to a race car, it was to make it a car that I really enjoyed, you know, driving. And, and yeah, a lot of it was to get it repaired. Like, I bought the car, the indicator the indicator bolt didn't work, and, the, and the, it had no fuel gauge. And the, the tire rubbed on the fender, and the carbs weren't balanced, and it was just hot, it was awful. Um, and so a lot of it was to get it to run, and then a lot of it was just to, you know, really make it a car that I loved to drive. But from yep. your perspective, what are the favorite things that you've done to the car so far? So, I think my most favorite, I think my most favorite one was I put in all four corners KYB gas shocks, and that turned the car into something that was like piloting a bath into something that was actually a little, a little bit more uh, uh, controllable because the suspension is quite soft because of the hard shocks. You get good rebound and you get good control and it just it just changed the way the car drove the 
door card. That's right. It's pretty special. Could you give us a bit of a history behind that? Because I know they had a different door card beforehand to the That's one right. now. Yeah, so it, it used to be like um, a vintage uh, sticker bomb. So it had like stickers all over it and uh, it was all vintage inspired. It was really cool. Loved it. But those door cards have a life inspection. See, they're, they're made out of card. It's literal door cards, right? Mm -hmm. They're made out of card. So as soon as the moisture gets to them and they go, they literally mold. And that's it. Dead. So. I had to put metal ones in, and, and while I worked in, in uh, aviation, uh, we had in, a, in the hangar, we had this wing that had been uh, chopped up by a Cessna 150, and it came off a Piper Cub that was on the, was on the airfield, and it just, it, just chopped, it just chopped up the wing. And so uh, I snipped a piece out, uh, put rib nuts in every single uh, hole in the, in the door, and just just screwed it in and, and it's got the little lav gas sticker on it and it's perfect. Love yeah. it. You were 17 when you got the car. That's right. And you said it was quite rough. It was bad. So how did you go from being 17, having no prior mechanical experience or knowledge, to fixing up the engine where it's making twice the power and runs smooth? Um, so lots of reading was like, you know, I, I did a hell of a lot of research, a lot of late nights, just trying to look up like ways to make the, those engines in particular, the, the, the flat four, just, just run as good as they could do. And when I first got the car, the plugs were fouled, so it was misfiring. Um, the carbs weren't balanced, so it would sound horrible. It sounds like it's running on two cylinders all the time, when in reality it's just two cylinders doing most of the work. Um, and the, the, the previous owner, this is, get this right, the previous owner told me he left them unbalanced because he was worried about making too much power. That's what he told me, okay. which I thought was very funny because, you know, it's not exactly, we're not exactly putting 200 horsepower to the ground here. Yeah. There's so much wrong with it and I spent a long time reading up on Weber carbs because I've got, I've got two 34 ICT carburetors from a Bedford van um, and they're jetted for Bedford van. Uh, which only has one carb, so I'm running two carbs that were made for one engine for Bedford van. It's just rubbish. There was just not enough fuel okay. in uh, in the midsection of of the RPM range, and so I spent a long time looking on jets, looking what worked for other people, what I think should work for my engine, and I did it at first time and and put my foot down. It was awesome. It was awesome. You know, just through learning myself, I, I encourage anyone to to learn stuff yourself. You can save yourself a hell of a lot of money on not paying mechanics, which, uh, sorry mechanics, but you know, that's, that's the way of the game. I, I spent a lot of time, a lot of time working on this car and you know, a lot of blood, sweat and tears. And you know, that's the reason why I, I won't sell it. And, and I've had offers for people to buy it from me and now nah, I'm not, I'm not getting it, giving it up because that, that's just part of, you know, owning a classic car and especially a modified car. You, you know, I wanted to make it, you know, part of, you know, my, my, my expression on onto the road and, a part of me in, 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 a, in a vehicle. On the road for three years now, how does it feel to, to drive, to own? How does it fit into your life? So all in all, you know, the, the, the car feels awesome to drive. You, you know, if there's one word to describe it, it's connected. You know, you just feel connected. It's manual steering, manual brakes. You know, it's carby, uh, you know, fueling, so it's instant fuel, uh, throttle response. And so you just feel absolutely connected to the road. And it's just such a great feeling. You don't get that feeling. I've driven modern cars, you know, you just don't get the same experience. And that's why I love driving my car. And, uh, you know, my, my only regret is, is really not doing it sooner. If I could have owned the car earlier, I, I would have. Uh, obviously, I couldn't because I couldn't drive it, right? Yeah. But, it would be but, a bit uh, difficult for you to get it yeah, sooner. Yeah, 100%, so. you know, 100%. So I, I would have, yeah, I would have earned the car earlier and I'd done all the work earlier. Yeah. So, what are your plans for the future of it? I've so, seen bits in the garage already. So yeah, absolutely. I've been about that. So I've got a, an AS41 case, which to the Volkswagen crew uh, is like, uh, that's, the, that's the case you want. Um, and that, I, I, the plan is to make that into a 1600 uh, with decently high compression and a supercharger. 
an AMR 500 supercharger uh, with a single side drop carburetor and it should make about 100, 120 horsepower uh, when I'm done with it. So that's the future really, just uh, just, the, just the more power, more suspension upgrades in terms of uh, control arms and stuff like that and got to upgrade a few bits and pieces to really hone in the car a bit more and and then the other part of the future is I'm still going to drive it to all my gigs and and still you just daily the, the hell out of it, you know, I daily drive the hell out of it, yeah. Is there anything you'd want to add for the end of the interview? Um, just uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity to have, a, to have a cool interview and coming to film the car. It's a really cool experience for me. and. You know, it's it's uh, it's good for sketchy as well. A bit a bit a bit of camera time for sketchy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's really good. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for thanks for having us. It's a uh, it's it's a cool car. No, it's absolutely. Good to, to meet them. I was never hugely into beaters. I always kind of appreciated them, and I that, really for like real, the look. Yeah. But I never kind of went in deep researching That's right. them. So it's cool to learn about them. Yeah. Because I'm a huge Porsche fan, so kind of learning about. Oh yeah, there you, you go. Know, yeah. Like yeah. Important yeah. history lesson. Yeah, same. And you know. Good experience, so yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Appreciate Thanks. it, appreciate it.